Hey folks, planning a small but powerful Intel build and need the perfect mini ITX motherboard? You're in the right place. In this video, I've selected the top three Intel mini ITX motherboards that pack impressive features into a compact size. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe for more, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the details and prices are listed in the description. Let's get started. Number 3. Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro – Best Budget Intel Mini ITX Motherboard If you're someone who cannot pay a premium price for a Mini ITX motherboard, and want more than what entry-level motherboards offer, the Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro is the board for you. It has a nice set of features and supports the latest gen Intel processors, all of which come at an affordable price. This might sound too good to be true, but there's a catch. More on this later. First up, the design. There's a black and silver theme going across the board, which is more prominent on the thick heatsinks that occupy most of the area. The heatsinks have Aorus branding that flows from the VRM heatsink to the chipset, and M2 heatsink at the bottom, a subtle touch that's nice on the eyes. Below that is the PCIe by 16 expansion slot, which uses the standard durable armor for reinforcement. At the top, you'll find a single 8-pin connector for power supply to the processor, along with a 2-dim slot configuration to the right for memory. A plus point here is the addition of native RGB, which even more expensive motherboards seem to leave out in this form factor. All of this sits on a 10-layer PCB design. For VRMs, this board uses a digital 8 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM configuration with 90 amps current per phase, which may not sound like a lot, but it's capable of handling even high-end processors like the Intel Core i9-13900K. That said, I wouldn't recommend performing any overclocking on this board, as that can lead to potential thermal trouble, which is never a pleasant experience. From a performance perspective, you get two M2 NVMe slots that are Gen 4. I would certainly have liked to see Gen 5 support here, at least for storage units. The same story goes for the PCIe by 16 slot, also based on Gen 4. This is still completely fine, but if you really want to future-proof a build, Gen 5 can become important. However, at this price range, it's a rare sight. Moving on to memory, this is where things might get a little unexpected. There's no support for DDR5, and the board is limited to DDR4 RAM modules only. As such, the board is able to support a maximum memory speed of 5333 MHz, with a total capacity of 64GB. That said, there is a DDR5 variant of this motherboard available as well, but that costs around $50 US dollars more. The thermal efficiency is quite good, considering the 10-phase VRM configuration. The board is able to match the thermal performance of even full-sized ATX motherboards. This is amazing to see, since many ITX boards are more limited in functionality than full-sized boards. The board is able to maintain an average VRM temperature of around 86 degrees Celsius during an intensive Cinebench R23 stress test. Moving on to connectivity, you get plenty of USB ports. From a total of 12 ports, 8 are accessible on the rear through the I.O. shield, while 4 are available for the front panel via internal headers. Out of the 8 on the back, there are only 2 USB 2.0 ports, while the rest are USB 3.2 Gen 2 and Gen 1. The front panel ports are, however, equally divided between USB 2.0 and USB 3.2. Lastly, networking is also good here, with a 2.5GB LAN chip from Intel, along with a built-in Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6 module. Unfortunately, this isn't Wi-Fi 6E, which would have been a nice little boost. The Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro offers better thermal efficiency than competitors like the Asus ROG Strix B760i Gaming Wi-Fi and MSI B760i Edge Wi-Fi. Not only that, it's also priced much lower than its competitors, which is a huge plus for a budget motherboard. 
In conclusion, the B760i Aorus Pro is a great entry-level motherboard that offers just the right set of features. If you're looking for DDR5 support, the motherboard has a separate variant that supports it, which is the only real concern. On top of that, a lower price point makes it more desirable on a budget build, while offering solid performance overall. To sum up, what I like is the lower price from competitors, there are plenty of USB ports, and the built-in RGB. On the downside, there's no DDR5 support. Ratings. VRM design, 8 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Features, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating, of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. Asus ROG Strix Z790i Gaming – Best Premium Intel Mini ITX Motherboard The Asus ROG Strix Z790i Gaming is the premium Mini ITX board to go for if you can afford it. While it costs quite the buck, it's the only Mini ITX board that comes with PCIe Gen 5 support for both your storage and graphics card, along with ticking all of the other boxes that you'd expect from a premium motherboard. To begin with the design, it follows the traditional matte black theme on a high-quality PCB. The VRM heatsink has vent lines that allow for maximum airflow to circulate, which is further complemented by two fans under the heatsink. On the bottom, you'll find a partial ROG logo that covers the M2 and chipset heatsink, along with a nice sheen that really makes it stand out. Below the chipset heatsink is the reinforced PCIe x16 slot that Asus calls a safe slot, along with two dim slot configurations in the top right for memory. For its CPU power, you get to see the typical 8-pin connector in the top left corner. If you're looking for RGB, you'll have to bring your own since the board doesn't come with any native RGB, which is a surprise given the premium price. Looking at the VRMs, you get a 12-phase configuration in a 10 plus 1 plus 1 design, out of which 10 are dedicated to vCore. The total 1050 amps current is more than enough to power even flagship processors from Intel, including the i9-14900K. On top of that, there's plenty of room for overclocking as well, should you want to push your processor even further. The performance standpoint of this board is actually insane. The board offers a single PCIe x16 Gen 5 expansion slot for your graphics card, along with two M2 slots for NVMe storage. Out of the two, one is based on PCIe Gen 5, while the other uses Gen 4. Additionally, there are two SATA headers available if you want extra storage for your PC. Moving on to the memory specifications, the board supports a max speed of 7600 MHz, with a total capacity of 96 GB. The total capacity here is a bit of a surprise, since most boards are able to support 128 GB of memory via their 2 DIMM slot configuration. What's unique about the ROG Strix Z790i Gaming is the implementation of the audio solution. This has been moved to a separate external device that Asus calls the ROG Strix Hive, and they claim it brings the essential I.O. control within arm's reach. This device uses the typical Realtek audio codec, along with some additional USB ports, and a bunch of control buttons like a BIOS flashback button, AI overclock button, and more. The board also doesn't lag behind in thermal efficiency and performance. It's able to handle high workloads with quite ease, maintaining a low temperature of around 60 degrees Celsius under the AID A64 stress test. Connectivity is also great, with a total of 12 USB ports, out of which 9 are available via the rear I.O. shield, and 3 for the front panel. This division might disappoint some if you're looking for more options in the front panel, but honestly, this really does the job quite well. Two of the nine USB ports on the back are USB 2.0, with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and the rest USB 3.2. On the other hand, all of the front panel ports are USB 3.2, which is nice to see considering the low availability. 
Now for network connectivity, you get the typical 2.5 gigabit Ethernet chip and Wi-Fi 6E module that comes with antennas in the box. The ROG Strix Z790i Gaming completely blows its competition from other manufacturers like the MSI MPG Z790i Edge Wi-Fi and Gigabyte Z790i RS Ultra, offering superior storage options with PCIe Gen 5 support, along with better USB connectivity and even thermals. All in all, while it comes at a premium price, this board does offer the best set of features that you're going to get out of any mini ITX board. To sum up, what I like is the PCIe Gen 5 support for storage and GPU, the excellent thermals, and the great USB connectivity. On the downside, there's no built-in RGB. Ratings, VRM design, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Features, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Number 1. ASRock Phantom Gaming Intel Z790i. Our top choice. The ASRock Phantom Gaming Intel Z790i is among the best mini-ITX motherboards that you can buy. It's based on the Z790 chipset, and it made its entry into the market quite late, with support for Intel's 12th, 13th, and 14th generations. The board offers great memory support, along with sufficient storage options and an overall fast networking solution. Overall, it really does provide a great experience, so let's jump into it. Looking into the design, it sits on top of an 8-layer PCB design with a matte black finish. At first sight, it comes off as another plain black motherboard, but what's unique here is the VRM heatsinks. They're connected through a heat pipe which is actively cooled. The heatsinks have the standard Phantom Gaming branding on them, and there's a total of three if you count the heat pipe connected heatsinks as separate. Glancing at the top, you get a standard 8-pin power connector for the processor in the top left corner, rated at 12 volts. On the right side, there are two DIMM slots for your memory, with locking mechanisms on both ends. There's no RGB, so if you want to add, you'll need to install your own via the headers. For a thermal design, the board uses an excellent 14 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM design, and it actually does an excellent job with the 14 phases dedicated to vCore. There's a total of 1540 amps power stages, which is the most you'll likely see in a motherboard of this size. This allows the board to handle even high-end flagship Intel processors quite easily, with plenty of room for overclocking as well. Moving on, it offers a single PCIe by 16 Gen 5 slot for your GPU. Gen 5 support is quite nice to see here, and it's something most motherboard manufacturers compromise on. Along with that, you get two M2 slots, but they're both based on Gen 4 instead of Gen 5. You also get three additional SATA headers that support speeds of up to 6 gigabytes per second. Memory performance and overclocking are where this board really shines, with support for max speeds of 8600 MHz, which is absolutely insane. With the two DIMM slots, you get a max capacity of 128 GB. Moving on to the thermal efficiency and performance, it's no surprise that the Phantom Gaming Z790i is able to remain cool even under intensive workload and high power draw. You'll be able to install any flagship processor on this board without any thermal trouble thanks to the extensive VRM design employed on the board. Where this board lacks a little is USB ports and connectivity. There are a total of 10 USB ports, out of which 6 are present on the rear and 4 are accessible through the internal headers. Fortunately, there are no USB 2.0 ports on the back, with two of the six based on USB 3.2 Gen 2, and the remaining using the 3.2 Gen 1 technology. On the front, you get three USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and a single USB 2.0 port. For network connectivity, the board offers solid options in a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet chip from Realtek, along with a built-in Wi-Fi 6E module. 
When comparing it to competitors, like the Asus ROG Strix Z790i Gaming Wi-Fi, the ASRock Phantom Gaming variant offers superior memory performance and storage options, while being significantly cheaper than the former. Not only that, the VRM configuration in the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790i is also better, as the Asus variant only offers a 10 plus 1 plus 1 phase configuration. All in all, the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790i is an amazing mini ITX motherboard and is able to offer superior performance and thermals than its rivals that are priced much higher. Great thermals, good storage, and overall excellent performance are what make this board stand out. To sum up, what I like is the PCIe Gen 5 support, the amazing price-to-performance ratio, and the excellent thermal performance. On the downside, there's no native RGB and no Gen 5 for storage. Ratings. VRM design, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Features, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.